Hello and welcome to createavideoonline.com where we teach you how to do video production and editing and also video optimization to get your video some traffic. And here are the sections to visit. Video production where you get to learn how to use softwares like Camtasia. We'll even get into green screens and even how to set up studios. So a lot of cool stuff over there. Free video templates is where we show you different ways to access free videos. Templates, easy to use, even a five-year-old can do. Uh, and then online video marketing is once you have those videos, just like you found this on our website or on YouTube channel, we're going to teach you how to optimize these videos to get the most juju out of it. And uh, you can visit our forum sections, ask questions, and maybe even get a custom made video response done. And yes, we like to have a little fun and we do contests and giveaways. In the previous lessons, uh, we showed you how to do a screencast, which is basically what we're doing right now, which is we're recording the screen. In this segment, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to import media. Now, when it comes to importing media, there's a lot of different formats. So let's go ahead and cover that a little bit. Okay. Now, the first example I'm going to show you, I'm going to go to import media. And I'm going to actually import uh, an actual screencast we did with Camtasia. So obviously Camtasia will easily work with Camtasia. So this is a no-brainer. So this is how it's going to look like for that one. If you do right-click in properties, you'll see that it is a Camtasia document. So I'm going to go ahead and double-click that right now. And as you can see, it brought it in over here. And for me to see it, I simply just drag it into the timeline. And you'll see over here that it says, what size do you want your video to be? Uh, if you're going to put this on YouTube, I recommend you just, you know, go straight to 640 by 360. Okay. Um, however, uh, if you want to keep the real resolution, I would, you know, recommend choosing recording dimensions. Of course, you have all your other options, but the most common sense would either be 640 by 360 for YouTube or keep it at the recording dimensions to keep the full resolution and that way even when you you know publish it you can still bring it down to a resolution so uh, those would be my top two picks right there in any case I'm gonna do YouTube for now I'm gonna hit OK and it basically brought it in here in the timeline uh, this top part over here is the video part this is the audio part so this is basically one way of how we just imported some media. I'm going to go into these details more later on. But let's go back over here into the import media. Okay. Now what I want to show you over here is that there's certain type of medias uh, that it won't let you uh, import. Okay. Uh, for example, you see how over here it says all media files and it's looking for these type of media files which is .camrec, .avi, etc, etc, etc. If it's not in this format, it's probably not going to accept it. So uh, I do sometimes video recordings with my actual video camcorder, and it does not accept this format. So I actually have to convert it. How do I convert it? Well, let me show you. If you run into a problem where you cannot upload the media before you try to import it, okay, I'm going to open up a software. The software is called AVS Video Converter 7.1. This is a freeware. Okay. Unlike Camtasia is a paidware. Okay. Yes, you got to pay for a Camtasia license. Okay. Now, uh, over here, this is um, a freeware where you can get this anywhere pretty much online. Uh, I would recommend CNET. And what I would recommend is that you basically convert it to a WMV or AVI okay try one or the others see which one works for you but this one is pretty much what I do is to WMV it works like a charm and at that point I can upload my videos okay and we're back to Camtasia and now that we've seen how to convert let's go ahead and look at some other stuff over here I'm gonna go to go to import media let's go ahead and select three files over here hit open you will see all three pop up over here and what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna actually select all of them so I'm gonna click on one and then I'm gonna hit shift 
and left click on the last one it's going to select all of them or you can just do one at a time which is control left click left click and of course because it's an order what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag all three of them down to the bottom and you'll see that all three of them came over here okay now one thing I want you to notice over here is that this first one only has one level of audio this this one has two levels and this one you can actually see some activity on there what that basically means is most likely uh, this is the microphone where I'm talking right now and this is actually recording the actual screen audio whatever is being displayed on the screen uh, or it could have just been something else that was recorded with it but that's most likely what it is okay uh, so that being said that's what all these are now with this you can you know uh, change the placement so I can left click on one drag it and you see I can bring it to the middle over here now of course it didn't move with the audio so it can get a little tricky at times with this but as you can see I can pretty much drag whatever I want however I want it okay and that pretty much takes care of how you bring in multiple how you bring you know import multiple uh, um, videos and how you can play with them a little bit so this is level one okay this is phase one of but usually when you import it uh, you do it in a sequence to where you don't have to hopefully play with it way too much okay right now I'm just kinda showing you how it's all over the place but normally I try to get it to where I got sequence one two three four five and so whatnot let me show you one more little quick trick over here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this little blue circle over here and it's gonna come up with this message do you want to permanently unlink audio one from video one if I hit yes look what it does now this became its own little layer okay and this is the a video of this own little layer as well so the whole idea is that if you want to separate video from audio that's how you do it and uh, of course you can bring it back if you don't want to okay and the last thing I'm going to show you for this import media section is I'm going to actually import a picture that's right that's right believe it or not I can go ahead and import an actual picture and look what happens when I drop it over here okay it does not have any audio to it of course you can't see it because the audio over here is stuck but uh, you will see that I can definitely import a picture now what I'm gonna do with this picture in the next segment is I'm gonna make an intro out of this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an intro out of this and that way I can use it with all my videos that you see over here and of course you've seen it already because you're looking at this video and I'm using my intro right that's right so look for the next video I'm gonna show you a little bit about the intro and what I do with that and then we're gonna keep going and keep going and I'm gonna show you all the cool stuff with the software okay and thanks for visiting once again uh, create a video stay tuned for more videos